now is um, how to uh, remove the AIS or you block off um, the AIS to stop the, the backfiring and the popping while bike's getting a lot of it from a high flow exhaust. So what we'll do is we'll just quickly show you how to do this. I see a lot of it on the net, people being confused, show me pictures, do this. So I'll just show you how to quickly do it. Remove your seat, of course. Now what you want to do is pop off the tank. You can do it without the tank on, but I want to show you the little nipple on the back of the carburetor because you're going to have to tune it as well. To tune it, you're going to need to make up a tool called a manometer, whatever you want to call it, don't care. I've made a homemade one. Homemade manometer. Get a bit of tube. I think it's about 5 mil, roughly. Just check. It's a 5 millimeter tube. That's all you will need. Okay, this is how it sort of works. Get a bit of a loop. Put a bit of fluid in there. I don't care what fluid you use, as long as maybe a bit of oil or something. That's transmission fluid. You need these to be the same length, running along. Okay. What I did first is actually tuned up the, the bike first. And what, how you're going to do this is up underneath here. Let's see if you can see that. There's a tube just here and that exposes a nipple on the front of the carburetor. What you're going to need to do is change that tube, take it off and put your tube here onto that. Underneath the tank, you'll see another one right there. Can you see that on the carburetor? I hope you can, it's a bit dark on my screen here. You've got to take that one off, plug both of those tubes onto that. Um, the tank won't be pushing fuel into it, so you'll have some fuel in the bowls of the um, of the carbies. That'll be enough to tune it up. Um, when you're tuning it, start it up. See which one shoots off to the back. If it's going to go to the rear of the carby, which you need to turn the um, butterfly screw anti-clockwise. The front carby, you're going to have to turn it clockwise. The adjustment screw for this procedure is under here. It's kind of hard to get to on your bike, but if we look into here underneath the tank. We should be able to see it. Okay, it's just there. Um, it's a bit hard to point to. But what I do is I come from up under here, up through there, and put your screwdriver through, and you may be able to see the screw that you need to hit. I can see it from here. So yeah, you need to turn that only just a little bit each time you do it. Okay, so then start it up, see how much it pulls on your little tool. I'm not going to do it again because mine's pretty good. So shooting up towards here, up and up and up and up, you're going to have to back it off any clockwise, but only do it just a tiny little bit um, and just play around with it. Easier with two people, of course. Um, that way you can kill the switch if the oil is going to shoot up too far up the cables. Okay, doke. Once you get it tuned, you can do the AIS block off. Now, it's not going to hurt your bike at all. It's just blocking off an emission and control system that they put on here for um, pollution reasons. Here in Australia, the bike doesn't even get checked for rego. They just say it doesn't need to be um, looked at. So you just go and pay your, your fee. Okay, as you can see, I've got this tube here blocked off. That's off the carburetor where you've just done the tuning. Okay, so pull it off, bend it, put a ball bearing in it, do whatever you want. Don't care. Now, that'll lead into your little T piece there, which travels to your little vacuums here on the AIS. Now, those vacuums have big fat little pipes that um, are plugged in on it. So, what you want to do, they both go to your airbox. As you can see on the airbox, I've sort of grabbed one of the tubes off these vacuums here and then just plugged them into the, to the ports here underneath your airbox. Um, so that's one thing you'll need to do. So that, block off that, and then the other fat tube that comes off these two things, you plug into each other. So you can see this one here that I'm wobbling, runs from in this one all the way over to the other side of the AIS vacuum. Once you um, plug those, plug that, bend that, you've just done the AIS, simple as. There's another kit I've got coming in 
which as you can see here goes up into there, screws on, um, blocks it all off from there. Then you can pretty much remove all the other crap because you don't need it. But I found what I just did then works and it's a lot easier by looking at um, the, the co-rider forums. Um, yeah, there's another one in underneath there which looks pretty hard to get to, so I don't want to do it that way. So all this can be done by just removing the fairing, the seats and loosening the tank. Um, if you're at home and you're thinking oh, it's so hard to read up on all this, which is what I found difficult going through your search forums, um, this has been a much easier sort of task and I just thought I'd put it on uh, YouTube for the co-riders can check it out. Um, eventually if I have my mate's bike over I might do one on his as well and show you the operation from start to finish. So yeah.